Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are taking a look at a German figure. He is a Wehrmacht MG34 gunner and his name is Wilhelm Schaper. Um, let's go ahead and look at his box. So he's from France, 1940. It's an early war figure. Um, and there's a picture of him. He's a pretty simplistic figure. Okay, and he was released in 2008. And on the side, we've got another picture of him. And here's the back of the box. All right, and as you can tell, uh, this box is a lot thinner. And that's because um, there is no um, equipment on this side. You're only getting stuff um, over here, so there's not not a whole lot of equipment with this figure. He is pretty simple, um, but I do like him So here he is <clears throat> And I picked him up off eBay for around $50 I believe about a month ago um you know, he actually is somewhat rare. He doesn't show up a whole lot. Um, so that's why I went ahead and just grabbed him when I saw him. Uh, but he is cool. I like him. Um, even though he is pretty simple and a, a standard German soldier, really. Okay. For starters, let's look at his MG34. So I've got him holding that right now. Let me take this out of his hands. We'll look at it in more detail. <clears throat> okay, so you can see the bipod in the front. Let me get that latched back on to the uh, MG34 so it's not flying all around the place. Uh, but we got a nice sturdy strap on there. Okay, the sights pop up. You can pull that up. And he does come with a strip of bullets here, which you can put inside of here. Um, it is a little tricky trying to fit this in here. You really got to cram it inside. Um, I was having some trouble with that, but uh, good detail on the weapon, as is expected. All right. So here's his head sculpt <clears throat> with his helmet. And uh, what's cool about his helmet is that it's got some um, um, good detail on it. You can see that they're trying to go for a, a worn look, like the paint has been scratched off of it in a lot of areas, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Never really seen that on any other dragon figures, so it's pretty unique. Let me take that off. There's the padding inside. There's a better look at that. And here's his head sculpt, which is um, definitely different. I'm not um, extremely impressed with it I think especially for a 2008 model I feel like it's not as realistic as some of the others um, but I do like his expression uh, that's a very unique expression he's got there you can see his teeth um, but yeah if you compare him with some other models um, it doesn't look as realistic but that's just my opinion okay well moving on let's look at his equipment here briefly and his uniform so, in the front, we've got his uh, MG accessory case. And in the back, we've got, he's got a shovel, and then pretty standard German equipment here. You see his knife hanging off there as well. So, 
a fair amount of equipment here. Then of course his Y strap and the belt. Uh, everything fits on pretty nicely. Okay. And we've got his uniform, or this is his field blast, is what it's called. And that looks very nice. We've got the shoulder tabs on there. And um, stickers you've got to put on yourself over here on his collar. And then this one on his arm. All right. So all of which is pretty, uh, pretty easy to put together. And we've got his pants and his boots. So really cool as always. Um, unfortunately, my one's hand is a little wobbly. Um, I hate it when you buy these figures brand new and their hands are cracked. Um, it really drives me crazy. So I got to be careful with that. Um, but yeah, that's everything to show for Wilhelm Shaper. Like I said, he is pretty simplistic, not a lot of stuff here. Um, but he is cool, I do like him, especially the helmet. I think that's very unique with the, um, the detail on that. So I do recommend picking this figure up. I think he is nice and worth checking out. If you can find him, he is a little, a little bit on the rare side. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Always appreciate it. I will see you in the next review.